Hello, welcome to our channel, James Financial Modeling Academy. So today uh, we are going to look at the choose function to activate scenarios uh, in conjunction with the uh, combo box instead of the data validation. Yes, this is the channel where we discuss uh, the financial modeling best practices, financial modeling efficient ways of modeling using the FAST standards. All right, so let's dive right into the topic. So today we are going to look at choose function to activate scenarios using the, the combo box instead of the data validation drop down list. This is the data validation drop down list, you know. So when you create a list using a data validation, is going to be different from when you create a list using your combo box. All right. So um, let me show us how to create the combo box before we come into how to use it to drive your scenario. So I go here to combo box. Assuming I have a list of my uh, different scenario cases, and I want to insert them into a drop-down uh, box. Now, the first thing to to do when you want to create a combo box, uh, uh, a combo box uh, drop down, it's for you to ensure that you have the developer tab, the developer tab here. So, if you don't have developer tab as part of your menu, then you've got to uh, go and activate it. How do you activate the developer tab? You can right click on any of these menu, and uh, you click customize ribbon or you right click on any of this menu here and you click customize ribbon so anyone that you prefer right click in here click customize ribbon and it brings the excel options the back end of excel now you then need to ensure that on the right the right hand side here you need to look for developer so you see developer here so this must be checked if it's not checked developer tab so yours should be unchecked like this so if you you need to check it so that it, it can be visible to you and you click ok so that's um, a very simple way of activating the developer tab so I haven't gotten the developer tab you need to go to inserts and you see a lot of controls here form controls here but um, we have button, we have combo box, we have um, check box, we have the spin button, we have the uh, list box, we have the radio button, uh, the option button. Yeah, so we are going to make do with the second one, which is combo box. So click it once, then draw, drag your mouse to draw it. So we got something like this. All right. So you have to right click, right click, because right now you, you don't have anything inside your combo box. There is no drop down list inside. We want to insert this list inside this drop down box. So how do we do that? You right click on your combo box and you go to format control. Then under format control, under input, the input range is a, a list. You highlight your list for the input range. Then your cell link. You have to choose a cell to link to your combo box. And that's it. And you click OK. Then you click outside of the cell so that um, it will be unselected. Then when you click this, you can then see all your uh, scenario cases that you have inserted. So you can see it's giving in you know, the values of one two three giving the position they are in this combo box drive, drop down so this is this is uh, the values that the match function would have would, would have given us ordinarily but the combo box is coming with uh, the position the relative position of the items in the list which is very good so which makes uh, which means that we may not we, we do not really need the match function when you are using the combo box as against when you are using 
the data validation. So how do you create the data validation? It's just for you to go to data, um, data, you go to data validation, and on that uh, data validation settings, allow, you allow a list, then on that source, this is the source of your list, you highlight it, and you say, okay, so it has created a list inside here. But this one has, it doesn't come with um, uh, giving us the corresponding or the relative position of the item selected. So then that's why when you are using the data validation uh, list or box, we use the match function to produce this set of values of one, two, three, and four, five. All right. So, and again, another difference between the combo box and the uh, data validation box is that this is more user user friendly such that when you click out of it you may not know that there is a drop down box here but here it is visible you can see that you need to click and select a drop down so this is more user friendly and um, uh, it, it, it doesn't hide any, any, any anything you know so it shows you clearly that um, you need to select an item. So that's it about the combo box. So let's go into our model to insert uh, combo box here. So inserting the combo box here, just like we did, we activated the, the developer tab. Then we go to insert and we click combo box and we'll come to draw. Come to draw your, you know, you drag. Your, your left mouse and uh, to draw that uh, combo box. All right, so we've got in the combo box here, uh, and then we want to insert uh, scenario cases, base case, uh, best case, base case, and worst case. So we right click on it because right now we've got nothing inside the box. So in order to insert something in the box, you right click and go to format control. Then under format control, your input range, which is your list. So if you click inside and you come to select this, now watch what is going to happen. You go to select this and our cell link, let's assume we are having a link of this cell to give us the relative position there and you click OK. So watch what will happen. So you deselect the combo box by clicking outside an empty cell or any cell. Then when you select, you see that you have just one option, right? Whereas you selected the three to be imputed into this combo box. But right now you've got just one. And that is because the combo box does not work with horizontal lists. It works with a vertical list. It works with a vertical list. It doesn't work with an horizontal list, you know? So the reason why it worked here is because our list is vertical you know so that's one other thing to note when working with combo box and so i'm going to right click and i'm going to go to format control then on that input range i'm going to link it to this list this vertical list we have on that combo box which is this i'm just going to select three then click back and i say okay so click outside then you can see that we have the three all right as giving us the relative position of each of the item in the list all right so i'm going to do away with this so you, you know that we have the data validation list here so i'm going to do away with it by going to data go to data data validation and here i'm going to switch it to any value and I'm going to say OK. So that's it. And I'm going to delete the content. There's no more data, uh, data validation box there. And uh, what I'm going to do is move this one to this box. I see. Make it small like that. Yep. But then. You can as well hide this set of this this two. Probably we'll put it here. 
you know so so that when we change anything we can still have our values working underneath then we'll put our combo box on it so that it won't be visible for users to delete you know so that's it and the uh, uh, best practice you can name that cell where you have a set of one two three you can name it switch switch i guess i have um a name called switch before now so i'm going to say switch one you know enter all right so we've named that cell as switch and we've gotten a drop down list the next thing is to go activate this set of scenarios using this combo box and the uh, the the switch uh, cell all right so we go right it does choose choose tab index number is that number that that we have um that we have named as switch so i'm going to press f3 to bring up the list of names so i say okay command then number the 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 value one value two the set of values that i want to choose among so i'm going to click this as the value one then comma value two then comma value three and that's all for that so say enter you have 40 so if i ch change this to best case to best case you see 50 if i change this to worst case you see 20. all right so copy that and select where to copy to i want to paste special so alt h v s and alt f to paste only formula and okay so you see that we've got a set of um, scenario values uh, best case then base case then uh, worst case so that's how to use the combo box and the choose function to activate scenarios in your model to choose between or among several scenarios uh, several outcomes that you have um, stated or envisage in the model so that's uh, that's the best case you can see the effect on the on the output so that's all about um, what we've got for you this time so if you want more of tutorials like this please subscribe to our channel and also remember to hit the notification bell so that subsequently you get more of our videos thank you see you in some other other videos bye